What about the social dimension of students in Europe? Let's have a closer look at the research results regarding their time budget. In the fifth round of Euro Student, we also looked at the time budget of students, which is related to the employment rate. Uh, it is very interesting because after looking at the time budget, you could see the time distribution between study-related activities and paid employment. And by study-related activities, I mean time distribution between personal study time and the amount of time that students spend at universities attending lectures. It's very interesting because if you look at the older students or students without higher education background who, were, who also tend to work more often, um, they are opting for flexible study structure, so they spend more time on personal study compared to the other student groups. Whereas younger students or students with higher education backgrounds spend more time attending lectures at the university. I think the student body entering the higher education system is changing, so there could, I am not in a position to make a European-wide policy recommendation, but it would need a detailed analysis of specific countries and looking at their student composition characteristics and what are their specific needs. Mm -hmm.